Welcome to Windows Server 2012 Training Part 2. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Server Manager dashboard to configure the following. 1. The Server Ethernet Configuration. Number 2. Installing a server role and the Active Directory domain services which will promote this server to a domain. So let's get started. First, open up your Server Manager dashboard. Move to the local server. Click here then you would go to the Ethernet IPv4 address assigned by DHCP. Click on that. Select Ethernet. Right mouse click. Go to Properties. Select the Internet Protocol version 4. IPv4. Click on Properties. Here you would click on use the following IP address. You should assign a static IP that will not conflict with any other device on your network. So I will type in the following. The IP address is 192.168.1 space and put 201. This is the IP address for the server. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. The default gateway is 192.168.1 and then we're going to go space 254. The preferred DNS server is 192.168.1.254 and we'll just leave the alternate DNS server alone for right now. Once I'm done, I click OK. So how did I come up with this IP address here, 192.168.1.201? This is how I obtain this IP address. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to press the window button on the keyboard here. Just type in CMD and then press enter. This is a command prompt. So once you open up the command prompt, you type in IP config and press enter. This subnet mask and default gateway is the same as the IPv4 configuration we had here. But the static IP address is always different based on the devices in a local area network. Let's compare this command prompt with this. IPv4 configuration that we just did. You just make sure of three things. You match the subnet mask with this subnet mask. You match the default gateway with this default gateway here. You want to make sure on the network that the server that you're installing here and configuring is not overlapping any IP address with another device. So I use the 201 IP address because majority of the device in a local area network in a typical office environment is typically less than 200 devices. So I choose 201 which is above 200 devices. And that is the reason why I choose 201 is to avoid the IP address conflict on the network. Don't forget you need to match the default gateway with the preferred DNS server and that's the typical configuration of the IPv4 settings. Let's get back to the server manager dashboard. On the bottom of the Windows desktop you'll see an icon that is the server manager. You click on that it opens the server manager dashboard. Before I'm going to install the server role and the active directory I forgot to mention one thing. Move your mouse to local server, click here and you see where it says computer name you want to make sure your server is named properly so if this particular server has a role of a file server you want to name it something like this so I'm gonna mouse over this particular computer name click on that click on change and then you want to change it to file server leave the work group alone this is the part when we're going to be installing the server role and adding the active directory pretty much it will promote your work group to a domain so don't worry about this part at the moment so just change that computer name once you click OK it's gonna ask you to restart your computer to apply these settings especially when you change your computer name which I suggest you should do so I'm gonna click OK close I'm going to restart now it's gonna take you back to login screen the login screen hold down control alt delete and then enter your password 
for the administrator and then you're logged in now it's time to install the server role and the active directories so that we can promote this server to a domain now that you're at the server manager dashboard you want to mouse over roles and features click on that and it will take you to a add roles and features wizard dialog box as you can see here there's about a few things that you want to take note before you continue verify the following tasks has been completed so the first one was the administrator account has a strong password that one we already entered the strong password for in the last video next the network settings such as your static IP are configured which we did last we need to have the most current security updates from Windows update before we install this server role and, and features but I think if you can install the security updates it's gonna take hours to install and I feel that you can do that after you configure the roles and the features this is just warning you that there are security patches but you can always update that after you install the roles and features so I'm gonna go ahead and click next on this one here we're gonna leave this default role base or feature base installation it's currently selected as role base and feature base installation we're gonna leave that one there and click next and the next one here would be select a server or a virtual hard drive on which to install roles and features here you would leave everything as default and make sure you highlight the file server right here as your server pool and then we're gonna go ahead and click next this is the part where we're going to choose an active directory domain services which is right here when you click that a dialog box opens all the features are automatically added all you have to do is just click on add features button here and then when you click that you would mouse over next and then just click next so once you're on the next screen it will show you the features and so forth like that here such as a .NET framework the group policy we're gonna leave everything as default and we're gonna click next and this area here this is the active directory domain services I'm gonna just click next and finally it's gonna list the following roles, the roles of the services or features that you previously selected. Since everything in here looks good, I'm gonna click install button right here and it's gonna start installing. It might take a few minutes, so I'm going to fast forward this video. So the installation progress is finished installing. Just click close. After you close the the installation move your mouse to this flag right here and has a notification this notification tells you that the configuration required for active directory domain services at the file server locations so here the post deployment configuration is a process where you're going to promote this server to a domain controller you click on this this link right here so here it says to select the deployment operation since this is the first domain in a force you will choose add a new force so on my next lesson part three I'll explain to you on what is a domain a force and a tree so just choose add a new force and then move your mouse to root domain name there's a box right here I'm gonna type in live mobile technology dot local since I'm gonna use this server in the local area network I'm gonna use the extension dot local after this, click next. It's gonna configure and install a few things and it's going to the next dialog box. And you'll select functional level of the new force and root domain. From here, since we are installing the server for the first time, we'll be leaving the force slash domain functional level to the same Windows Server 2012. So if you know you're, you will use 2008 servers, then you'll choose the version of the servers here. You can set your force functional level back to 2008 but for this example we'll be using 2012 as our force functional level now I'm just gonna put back to what we currently have is the Windows 2012 R2 this is what we're using as our force we're not going backwards compatible moving forward there's a password so we're gonna fill in the password here type the directory services restore mode DSRM password so you're gonna just enter the same password you entered as your administrator password and confirm the password just keep this password and store it safely in a place whenever you need to restore your directory services then this will come in handy this part here okay once that's done just click next here uh, you will get some warning just ignore it and click next so it's loading the additional options so here 
Leave this NetBIOS domain name alone and click Next. Here, there's these paths. Specify the location of the AD and DS database. Wouldn't leave the path the same and click Next. So here's the review options that everything we have selected and added is right here. So you can scroll up and down, you can read up, you can read up all your review, all your selections. Just click next on this section. So as it's going through, you can see additional warning. If I were you, don't worry about these warnings. Let it finish installing and then just click on install. And then there's gonna be a few more warning messages. Don't worry about it. Continue. I'm gonna fast forward this, the next step. So this computer will now, you're about to be signed out. This computer is being restarted because Active Directory Domain Service was installed or removed, but currently we're installing, so it's now loading. So after restart it, just press Control Alt Delete. Now you notice that this NetBIOS that we it was we were working earlier, Live Mobile Tech Slash Administrator. That's the location from now on. If you're logging in, all users needs to use this Live Mobile Tech, which is your domain. That's their NetBIOS domain. And then we're gonna type in our password and enter logging in. Okay. So after the reboot, here's what you will see in the server manager dashboard. Click on the local server. And as you can see earlier that you saw where it says workgroup, it's now changed into a domain because we promoted this server into a domain. You see where it says ADDS? It's an icon to the left here. This one here, you'll see this is the active directory that is loaded in the file server. Just take note of that. I mean, we'll get into more detail on each one of these. When I add more videos, you'll see specifically how to utilize each one of these icons. So now that the Active Directory is installed on my next video, I'll be explaining to you about domain, force, and tree in detail. And once again, thanks for watching my training video and help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. This will help me a lot. Visit me online at www.livemobiletechnology.com. And if you like this video, click on the like button for me at the bottom of the screen.